This is your inspirational wake-up call, and you are inside the house with Professor Shire. We are coming to you from the Caribbean, to be exact, from downtown Port of Spain in Trinidad and Tobago. Do you know we all get inner guidance? Oh yeah! A big shout out to my global friends and family. Today we'll be looking at how God speaks to us. So please stay with me. Have you ever noticed that we all get these special nudges or intuitions on a daily basis from a force, a divine source, a voice, or even a dream? Stay with me. Today this humbles me. As I have been told, we all have the ability to hear the voice of God, but we are so caught up in our worldly events, we have forgotten. You know, I want to share this story with you. As a boy growing up, I always watch my father leave for work every morning. On this particular morning, as he left for work, one of my sisters had a terrible seizure. We all started to panic, and of course we started praying. Because way back in those days, there was no way we could have communicated with our father until many hours later. To everyone's surprise, he returned home in a matter of minutes and said something told him he should return to his house. So my sister was saved. But was it a combination of the inner voice and our prayers that compelled him to return home? Before I go, let me leave you with this. Inner guidance is a great gift and it's not a game. If we try to use inner guidance to control life and other persons around us, we will be misusing this gift. God's voice speaks to us through people in our lives. And finally, if you want to form a relationship with God, you have to learn to listen. Until next time, let us keep love in our hearts. Let us hold each other's hands to make it through these times. This was your inspirational wake-up call with Professor Shire. Love you all.